The reason why you are watching this video has two possibilities. One being which you are noticing a lot of recent drama between CSGO Ro and CSGO Empire. The second reason being the YouTube algorithm blessing this video due to the number of shares and likes by you guys. Regardless, in this video, I'll be mainly documenting Monarch's story, his company's journey, and some insights in the CSGO gambling scene. Do note that this documentary mainly come from Monarch's tweet, and there might be some misinformation on my end when summarizing in this video. So sit back, relax, as we dive into the story of Monarch. It all started with this little kid named Jupi, who spent all his childhood playing RuneScape. A role-playing game that allows you to do basically everything in-game. Similar to GTA Grand Theft Auto, the only difference is being in the 18th century instead of the modern world. Jupi eventually turned 13 years old while playing the game. He will start staking and involved as a commission staker. Now he's gonna clean me. Now I'm not gonna do 62. Actually, I'll do it. <laughs> now he wants to do 31. Oh, it's a whip stake. So bad hits. Oh wow. Dunk. 20. Dunk. 20. Dunk. Dunk this hit. Dunk next hit. <gasps> what the fuck? Did I just... Throughout his journey as a commission sticker, he will soon meet his first partner, Ising, known as I or Killian today. Okay, Sink, you. Sink. Yeah. Are you ready for the drop party? Are they ready? They will build a RuneScape gambling platform together, providing poker and dicing services named Big Boy Bets. In the beginning of their partnership, Azing was doing a lot of work for the site, but soon after a couple of months, he would turn extremely inactive. So Jupi decided to quit school and fully focus on building the site, while Azing was busy real world trading, selling off RuneScape GP. During this time, there were a lot of competition in the RuneScape gambling platform. Azing would find ways to bring down their competition by telling Jupi to DDoS them, which is a way to disrupt their gambling website. He will take down his competitor website like RuneChat, Dragon Dice, MMO Poker, Cora Dice, and more. Jupi had to obey all these DDoS attacks because if he refused to, he would most likely end up losing 30% of the share in big boy bets as their initial agreement. In the process of building the website, Ising would call Jupi names and accuse him of Alzheimer's disease, a brain disorder causing brain cells to shrink and die, commonly leading to dementia. Ising would force Jupi to take narcolepsy, a medication that provokes the nervous system to stay awake. Eight months later, Ising would refuse to pay the money advertisement fee for Scythe, Powerbot, OSBot, and stop paying Jupi his daily rake. Ising would find a reason that he owes 70% of the share and forces Jupi to sell his 30% share in Big Boy Bets. Ising went on finding a valuator to evaluate the site of Big Boy Bets, but two weeks later, Ising banned Jupi from Big Boy Bets. So Jupi decided to launch his second website, rsgambling.com. This did not last long, however, as Ising would spread the rumors of Jupi committing fraud for illegal gambling activities and spread this in the Big Boy Bets community. rsgambling.com would then get cyber attacked and taken down. After Jupi's second downfall of his website, he would rename himself as Monarch, claiming his CSGO gambling throne. 
The name monarch is given to the head of state which exercises the highest authority and power. Monarch has proven worthy of his name by cleaning up fraudulent sites like CSGO Diamonds and CSGO Wild which we will get to that later. In 2016, two years after the downfall of rsgambling.com, Monarch would get a loan of 11,000 euros and start up his third website, CSGO Empire, which offers CSGO gambling services like roulette, coin flip and match betting. In 2017, CSGO Empire would sponsor almost any influencer with a large following audience and they would come across an influencer named Mo, sponsoring him half a million dollars promoting CSGO Empire. Alright, 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 alright dude. Oof, 300. Let's hit CT again. I don't know why I'm feeling the CT again. And let's do 50 on this. As you can see, I'm always putting a little bet on, on the fucking dice because I'd kill myself if it doesn't hit dice. Or if it hits dice and I'm not part of it. <laughs> I'm on a fucking roll, baby. All right, we're 200 away. We gotta be smart here. In 2018, however, Monarch made a bold decision by firing all their marketers and ending all their sponsorships with influencers, using their funds to improve their products instead. Mo, on the other hand, started begging Monarch to get him back in the sponsorship role, and the begging harassment got to a point when Monarch had to ignore his messages, which tensed their relationship. Besides that begging event, Monarch and his team would expose CSGO WoW for running a rigged site, a website owned by the skin hub owner Vlad North, a website that used funds to start up Face Clan, and a website that would sponsor anomaly $200,000 per video, which triggered Anomaly's manager of releasing a staged video of Monarch scamming. During the year 2016 to 2018, Valve would send cease and desist letter to skin gambling and cash out sites, banning every skin trading bots possibly exist. CSGO Empire would find a solution by implementing player-to-player -player trade system, which it revived back the CSGO gambling scene. In 2020, Monarch exposed Robit's owner who ran CSGO Diamonds back in 2016 a skin gambling site that was exposed by Mo himself, allowing him to win games at a predictable way in his live stream. This time ironically, Mo was yet sponsored by the same owner of CSGO Diamonds and Robit. We'll see what happens on here, Robit. I've seen people winning big on Robit. I gotta get that win. Okay, please, 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 $6,000 right there. Oh my god, 837x! 837x, but I only got $6,000 because I didn't bet. Bid it up, bid it up, bid it up. I should have went for a crazy one. Look at 837x. Imagine I put 100. Why didn't I do it? Why didn't I put 100x? However, Mo would deny the allegation knowing the Robit's owner, but soon his chat log would get leaked by Monarch. This triggered him to attack Monarch in all possible ways. Mo would find old streams of Monarch when he was 12 years old and accused of Monarch being a pedophile in his channel. Besides that, Mo would leak Monarch's personal background, accusing CSGO Empire operating in the United States without a license, no license. having fake KYC that allows kids to gamble, and the list goes on. All these attacks went on for a few months until Mo stopped, deleted most of his tweets, and blocked Monarch. This year, 2023, Monarch would meet his old partner, Izing, who renamed himself as I, claiming his CSGO gambling throne. I launched CSGO Row in 2016, which offers CSGO gambling services like CSGO Empire. However, CSGO Row was quickly shuttered down due to the cease and desist letter by Valve and the banning of Skins Trading Board back in 2016. But this did not stop I, as he would relaunch CSGO Row in 2018 after following CSGO Empire's player-to-player -player trade solution. This time round, however, I started off CSGO Row strong by implementing a variety of game modes such as Crash and Case Battles. But the main attraction would be their daily rewards, giving free coins to returning gamblers every 24 hours. The attraction did not stop there. 
I would find ways to advertise CSGO role by making events and sponsoring YouTubers promoting the site. The advertisement tactic got so huge until CSGO role would eventually sponsor G2 one of the best teams in the world of CSGO. They would hire Monacy to film a CSGO role video when he was 17 and release it to the public when he just turned 18. This, however, triggered both Monarch and Valve, so the CSGO drama begins. What's your wager? All in, on 2023. Monarch and his team would undergo a huge investigation on CSGO role and found out CSGO role was operating with predatory practices such as their withdrawal limit of 1000 coins, no other cash out options besides skins, operating in the United States without proper license and more. CSGO Empire's investigation would then trigger Valve ban waves after leaking CSGO Rose supplier program, a non-disclosure agreement between CSGO Rose suppliers with the option to cash out side coins while the average players are unable to. This has proven CSGO Row coins do have monetary value and ironically, CSGO Row bans players who mentions about real world trading. This did not end up good however, as Valve started banning players who trades on all gambling sites including CSGO Empire themselves. Monarch then made an apology tweet about the ban waves and began moving in the online casino world, Jewel.com, starting his next chapter. This video took me hours to make and I would appreciate you guys to subscribe for more content like this. I'll pick a comment with the most likes and I'll make a story on that. Until then, see you around. Ciao!